Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. We'll just give everybody a minute to get on here. Glory to glory to glory to God. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we give you praise and honor to glory, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your blessings. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise your name, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Give us a minute just to let everybody get in here tonight. Praise the Lord. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Lord. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you praise and honor and glory, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We'll wait just a few more seconds and get everybody a chance to get on here. Hallelujah. Looking for a good time on the Word tonight. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. You know, the devil's a liar and the father of it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, I give you praise, Master. Hallelujah. We'll give it just another minute or so. And more people get tuned in here and we'll get ready to, hallelujah, to have church here tonight in the house. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mighty, 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 mighty God we serve today, church. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, because if God be for us, who can be against us? Praise his holy name, God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, praise God. This is Senior Pastor Sam Ward of New Fellowship Full Gospel Church in Manville, Tennessee. I want to welcome you to our Wednesday night service. We're sorry that... Uh, so a lot of people sick at church, but praise God, we're still going to go out and spread the gospel of the good news out across the airway. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God, because without him, we're nothing. Hallelujah. Before we get started, though, we've got a lot to pray about. There's a lot of people out tonight that are sick. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But you know what? We serve a great big God. We serve the great physician. We serve the one, glory to God, that no matter what the, the, the doctors say, we serve a mighty, mighty God that is able to move in a mighty way. So glory to God. All right. Hallelujah. Let's go. We'll start with the prayer request tonight before we get started. Remember Rick and Cheryl Humphrey when you pray. Sister Cheryl's been sick. Just remember her. Remember Sister Geneva when you pray. And Sister Teddy when you pray that God would uh, God touch their uh, prayer request. Remember Tim and Karen and their whole family. They're sick tonight. We pray God that, hallelujah God, that, that they would touch, that God would touch their bodies. Remember Mark and Brandy. They're both been, Brother Mark's really been sick. So remember that. Remember S.T. and Kathy and Harley, they've been sick. Just pray that God would move on their behalf. Remember Brother Steve and Sister Shirley when you pray. Remember Brother Frank and Sister Audrey. We're praying for you, Sister Audrey, to God to continue to touch your body. Hallelujah. Remember Sister Ruby, her sister, when you pray. Remember Crystal and Mikey, Sister Crystal, we're praying for you. She's been sick. Sister Dorsell, remember her request. Remember Sister Dean and Sister Frances when you pray that God would touch each one of them. Remember Melissa and Hannah, Hannah's been sick, that God would move on their behalf. Remember Phil and Vicki Nichols, they're both been sick, and just pray that God would touch them, God, and heal their body. Remember uh, Brother Willis and Sister Edith, when you pray that God would touch, uh, hallelujah, their bodies and heal them. And uh, Sister Lily, uh, Brother Willis's sister, God, continue to touch her body, give her strength, because she really needs strength and God to move on her behalf. Remember Joe and Cindy when you pray that God would touch their household, God, that you would move. Remember Michael England and uh, Helen Melissa, God, that they would move uh, on their prayer request. Uh, remember Rex and Darlene when you pray on their, their behalf. Uh, hallelujah, glory to God. You remember all the sister churches out there? Remember Rick and Angela? Uh, Murphy, when you pray, they've been sick. Remember me and Sister Molly when you pray that God would continue to move on our behalf. We have some uh, special prayer requests. God knows all about it, that you would move. Hallelujah on that. 
Remember those that I work with, that God would continue to uh, let me be a light, that no matter what I say, that they'll see the Lord in them, uh, in me. Uh, hallelujah, because we know in whom we believe, because our Redeemer liveth. Uh, hallelujah, glory to God, and remember our nation. I'm telling you, if there's ever a time, glory to God, that, uh, that our, need to, our, our nation needs to repent, uh, hallelujah, get down on their knees and cry out to a holy God that would reach down and touch. Uh, hallelujah, this nation. Nation, glory to God. It seems like anything goes in this nation anymore, but I'm going to tell you something. The Bible says that every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess. Uh, hallelujah. That he is Lord. And I don't know about you, but glory to God, America about to wake up. Uh, hallelujah. And realize that there's a God in heaven that cares. Uh, hallelujah. About everyone. Uh, hallelujah. So let's go to the Lord in prayer at this time. Heavenly Father, God, we come to you tonight. God, we thank you and we praise you for your blessings. God, we thank you, Father God, for another opportunity to come out across the airway, God, to, to spread the gospel of the, the good news of Jesus Christ. God, we pray, God, that you would touch all these requests. There were many on this prayer list tonight, God. Oh, God, that are sick and afflicted, God. Lord, I ask you to reach your hand down, God. Oh, God from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet, God. Lord, that you would heal their bodies, God. I rebuke the sickness uh, that's going around this nation and this, uh, hallelujah, this community right now, God, in the name of Jesus, we command it to flee. Oh, God, that you would release the healing virtue upon their bodies, God, because this is the day that the Lord has made. We should be glad, hallelujah, we should be glad and rejoice in God. I pray for all the sister churches out there God, Lord, I pray, God, that you would open up their eyes, God, and let them be a light into the community, wherever they're at, God. Satan, you're a liar and the father of God. Oh, touch my throat tonight, God. Hallelujah. God, I thank you and I praise you for everything that you're going to do, God. Lord, and I pray, God, hallelujah, not by might nor by power, but God, it's by thy spirit, says the Lord of hosts, Father. God, it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles tonight, I was actually been praying about this for a week or so and asking God what to bring tonight. And if you have your Bibles, would you go with me to the book of Isaiah? Hallelujah. Glory to God. We spent quite a bit of time here lately in the book of Isaiah, but uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. We just feel this is the direction of where God wants us to go tonight. God, Isaiah chapter 55. I I was reading several verses, and I kept going back and reading them to the night before we got started. The Lord had me to read a few more verses here in Isaiah 55. But if you have your Bibles in Isaiah chapter 55, we're going to start in verse number one. And I want you to listen. Hallelujah. What the word of God says right here. Isaiah 55 and chapter number one, uh, verse number one. It says, Ho, everyone who thirst, come you to the water. And he who has no money, come you buy and eat. Yes, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Three times right here in this passage of scripture, in this first verse, uh, three times, glory to God, Jesus says, come. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen to me, church. If we ever come to the Lord, it's now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's not later. It's not, well, I've got plenty of time. No, <laughs> now is the time that we need to come. <laughs> Hallelujah, glory to God. And when we learn that we can come to him, no matter what we're dealing with, no matter what we're facing, no matter what we're going through, no matter what happens in our life, we can learn. Hallelujah to come unto him. Three times he says it right here. There's many times in the Bible that Jesus says, come, come, come. Hallelujah, glory to God. And I thank God that he says, come. But if you look at that word by there, Hallelujah, glory to God. Yet, there's no money involved because the price has been paid for me and you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. All the price and all that Jesus asked for is we just give him our heart. Hallelujah, glory to God. Everything that we got, if we would just give it to him. Hallelujah. And when we learn.
learn to give it to him, God can move on every situation. Hallelujah. Glory to God that we're facing. No matter how big, no matter how small, hallelujah, God is able to move on every one of our situations. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he look also, hallelujah, glory to God. And it says, and eat. Listen to, listen to this right here. Man must be must partake of Christ before they can become, become part of Christ. you got to give yourself to Christ before God can bless you. Hallelujah. God, God listen, I'm, I see so many people. Oh, I want to serve God, but I want to serve God on my terms. Listen, there is no terms. Hallelujah. You come to him. Hallelujah. With a humble heart. You come to him. Glory to God with everything that you can. And you watch what God can do for you. Hallelujah. He wants you to give everything that you can to him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I know we get in trouble sometimes. Hallelujah. It says come three times here. Come. come. We'll come to him on certain things and certain things we think that we can handle on our own. I'm telling you. Glory to God. For a gentleman that's been in the ministry for over 30 years, I'm learning more every day that I need to turn everything over to him more every day. Not to next day, not the next day. Oh, I need to turn it over to him right now. And the more that we can learn to turn everything over to God and say, God, here it is. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And leave it there. And trust in him and believe in him everything and take care of itself. Everything will take care of itself. Hallelujah. Listen, look at verse number two. Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread? And you labor for that which satisfies not. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many people do you know out there that are searching for something? Searching for something over and over and over. Keep searching for this. And when they think that they got it, it's not satisfying them. They want to get, oh, I got to have something bigger. I got to have something better. I got to have something more expensive. I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. Can I tell you, if you spent that attitude serving God, I promise you, he'll bless you. Hallelujah. He'll move on your situation like nobody has ever seen in their life. If you learn to trust in him and believe in him, hallelujah, because listen to me, hallelujah, the things in this world, you may look at it with these eyes and the hearing in his ears and you think, glory to God, I know, praise God, that everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. This is what I want. And when you get it, and you ain't satisfied. But if you ever got a dose of the Holy Ghost, you ever got a dose of, of who Jesus truly is, if you ever got a dose of the real thing, and you say, Lord, help me. Oh, God, to understand what you're trying to show me. I'm telling you, when you get the taste of the goodness of God, and when you taste the real things that God has to offer, then God can move in a mighty way in your life. That's not what I'm saying. That's what the word of God says. If we can learn to get a taste of the goodness of God, hallelujah, glory to God, and get our cravings on the things that matters, get our cravings on the things that God has before us, and we get our craving, our hunger, how those are the Bible most of the time we're hungering for this or thirsting for this or hunger. Oh, I'd like to have this big steak, or I'd like to have this, or I'd like to have, why don't we hunger and thirst after righteousness and let the hunger and thirst after the things that God says that we can have. If we learn to do that, God, I promise you, hallelujah, God will not let you down. You know what's wrong when you start wanting and trying to get the things of the world? It lets you down every time. The things of the world, the people of the world will let you down. But when you get the hunger and thirst of the righteousness after God, no matter the situation, because let me tell you something, a lot of people say, well, I'll go. I tried serving the Lord one time and I had a problem and, uh, and it don't seem like God, God wasn't there. Let me tell you something, hallelujah, you serve God, hallelujah, and when you have situations that you, because we all face things every day in life, but if you learn to hold 
hold on to his hand, he'll get you through that valley. He'll get you over that mountaintop. He'll get you through that trial that you're going through. He'll get you through everything that you're going through. Hallelujah. You got to hold on to him. Hallelujah. A lot of times we get upset because we don't. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We don't get it right when we want it. We think, well, I, I don't want to have to. I don't want to get go through through anything. I don't want to have to suffer through anything. Let me share something with you. The closer you get to God, I've learned this. The less friends you're going to have, and the more goodness of God you're going to get, but the greater the rewards will come to you. Greater the rewards will come to you. You've got to hold on to his unchanging hand. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For your labor, for that which satisfies you not, but what does it say after that? Hearken diligently and to, unto me and eat you that which is good and let your, listen, and let your soul delight itself in the fatness or the goodness of God. <laughs> of the goodness of God. What, what is stopping you from doing that? Go look in the mirror in your bathroom or in your bedroom and look in the mirror. That's what's stopping you. You're letting the things of the world stop you <clears throat> instead of letting God move on your, on your behalf. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The soul of a man is so big that only God can fill it up if you let him. <clears throat> let me say that again. The soul of a man is so big that only God can fill it up. You may, you may try to get the world to fill it up, but you're going to be empty. You're still not going to have, you're still, hallelujah, glory to God, not going to be satisfied. But when you let the goodness of God come into you, and you let the goodness of God fill you up, and you let the goodness of God come into your soul, oh, glory to God, I'm telling you, there's nothing like feeling the presence of an almighty God. There's nothing like feeling, hallelujah, down inside, hallelujah, even though things may happen to you and this may happen but when you feel the goodness of God and his sweet love inside of you there's nothing no greater than that there's nothing no greater than that hallelujah there's nothing no greater than that when you let the Lord come in and fill up your soul hallelujah glory to God but let me share something with you you gotta come clean with God you got to come, come, humbleness to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. You got to come as humble as a little child before God. Hallelujah, glory to God. I preach Sunday morning. Hallelujah, glory to God. And what we got to do, glory to God, is we got to, hallelujah, glory to God, come with a true repentance before God. And when we can come with a true repentance before God and truly mean that we're sorry and say, God, hallelujah, glory to God, help me. I promise you, glory to God that God will fill you up like you've never felt before in your life. Hallelujah, glory. Listen to me. Think about in your life what is some of the greatest thing that the world has done to you that you think, man, that was awesome. Can't you imagine a hundred times greater when you come to God with an open heart and a contract spirit and say, God, here I'm at, fill me up with your love and your joy and your peace and your God, fill me up like you've never filled me up before. Lord, fill my cup up, God, that no matter what I'm, what the world may say, God, fill me up. Let me feel your presence just one more time. Just let me feel. Just one more time, Lord, let me feel it. Hallelujah. There's no greater feeling in this world than to feel the presence of God in your soul. There's nothing no greater. Because listen to me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Look at verse number three. Now listen. <laughs> Incline your ear. And there is that word again. Come. Come. Unto me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Some of you need to open your ears. 
Some of you need to open your ears and say, Lord, speak to my spiritual ears. Open your ears. Get the garbage out. First of all, you got to get the garbage out so the Spirit of God can come in. Because look what it says. <clears throat> Incline your ear and come unto me and hear. And your soul shall live. <laughs> That word there, incline your ears, referring, hallelujah, to the word given by Christ when he said, he that hath an ear, let him hear. Hallelujah, glory to God. What's stopping you? Get your fingers out of your ears and let God speak to you like he wants to speak to you. Hallelujah, glory to God. Because <laughs> it said, and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of God. Listen to me. <laughs> hallelujah. To refer to the, uh, hallelujah, glory to God, the everlasting covenant is talking about the new covenant. Uh, hallelujah. He will come to you like that. He will, you just got to open your ears uh, and say, Lord, fill me up. Hallelujah, fill me up. But listen to me. Sometimes God spoke things to for us to do, and we decide, oh, I, I know better than God. That's not what he wants me to do. Listen very carefully to me. Hallelujah. Open your ears. Listen to what God's telling you to do. Hallelujah. Sometimes God will speak to you. You don't understand it, but if you will listen to him, he'll show you what to do. He'll open up your heart. He'll give you the direction. He'll make the way for you. You, hallelujah, glory to God. But listen to me. We're coming into the time, the time or the end of the time, time, time. Hallelujah. Listen to me. It's time to quit playing church. It's time to quit playing with God. It, listen, he's, he, it's time to get serious. It's time to come with an open heart. It's time to come with our ears open, listening to what God's trying to tell us and the days that we're living in today. In the days that we're living in today, glory to God, hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah. What, what is your excuse when you stand before God? Oh God, I, I didn't want to do it because I didn't think I could. Let me tell you something. Could never could until they tried. Bible says I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. What you got to do is get up. Of your laziness, take that step. How to get your Bible out, dust it off, get your Bible, dust it off, open it up, and see what God has for you today. Not, oh, not, oh, I, I'm, I'm reading, see what this, this is for so and so. This, listen to me. Read the Bible for what God wants you to hear. The way God wants to move on your behalf. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Look at four, four. Behold, behold, I have given him a, for a witness to the people, a leader and a commander to the people, talking about Christ. Hallelujah, glory to God. God sent the best that he had. He sent his only begotten son to take my place, to take your place. Hallelujah. He took it at Calvary. Hallelujah. It's time. Don't you think, church, that we open up our ears and open up our heart and open up our soul to God. Touch me. Baptize me with the Holy Ghost. Cleanse me, God. Fill my cup. Lord, fill it up. Let it overflow, God. Let it overflow in our lives, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just don't want a little bit. Because listen to me, once you get that hunger and once you get that desire, you want more and more and more and more. How to listen to me. The more you want, the more God can give to you. But you got to come to him with a humble heart. You got to come to him with a humble heart. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because listen to me. Christ alone is what paid the price for us. Christ himself took our place at Calvary. Hallelujah. Look at verse 9. Excuse me, 5. Behold, you shall call a nation that you knew not, and a nation who knew not you, you shall run unto you, because the Lord your God, for the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Listen to me. <laughs> Thank you.
he went after Israel, wanted Israel to be his people, and they rejected him. And that opened the door for us. Praise God. It opened the door to us. Because listen to me. <clears throat> Christ didn't die just only for Israel. But Christ died, listen, for the entirety of mankind. He died for every one of us. Under the sound of my voice and those that's going to be listening and watching in the next day. He died for every one of us that we can have life and have it more better. He died. He took our place. Listen, we deserve to go hell, to hell. We deserve that. But God had a plan. Who oh, glory to God. And he sent his only begotten son to make the place for us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Ain't you glad of that? <clears throat> Ain't you glad of that? Glory to God. Ain't you glad that he made a way for me and you? Ain't you glad, glory to God, that he paid the price, Christ paid the price for me and you? Hallelujah. For all mankind. Whew, glory, that don't leave anybody out. If you go to hell, you choose on your own behalf to go to hell. Hallelujah, glory to God. People say, oh, there's no, listen, let me tell you something. The Bible says that hell is enlarging itself daily. Enlarging itself daily because people are rejecting Jesus Christ. They're rejecting the word of God. Hallelujah and glory to God. And they're waking up on the other side. Hallelujah and glory to God. They're waking up into eternity. Hallelujah glory to God. Where the worm dieth not. Hallelujah. Where there's going to be gnashing of teeth. Hallelujah. Where they're going to be screaming and hollering. Hallelujah glory to God. Because they rejected a man called Jesus. They rejected the Son of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Don't reject what God has for you. Hallelujah. Don't say, oh, I don't need him. I got plenty of time. Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Go look in the obituaries. Hallelujah. The death angel don't care how old you are, whether you're young or old or old, old. Hallelujah. God, the death angel don't care. He's coming. Hallelujah. The Bible says it's appointed unto man wants to die, then after that the judgment. But listen to me, where there's breath in your body, where there's breath in your lungs is the time that you need to give your heart over to God. Hallelujah. Not when you die. Hallelujah. There ain't nobody going to be able to buy you when you die and you split hell wide open. Oh, my family's going to pray to get me out of purgatory. No, they're not. Hallelujah. When the last breath comes out of your body, you wake up on the other side. You're either going to hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant, or depart from me, you worker of iniquity. There is no in between. There is no in between. I give you the first five verses to get all the way down to what I really wanted to come to you tonight. Verse number six. Listen to me. Verse number six. Seek you the Lord while he may be found. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Listen to me. You're only guaranteed one time for the Spirit of God to dwell on your heart for you to open up the door for Christ to come in. And I thank God he gave me many a times before I finally gave in to him. And I took a chance. But when God comes to you and tells you this is your last chance, you're talking about a, a weird stomach empty feeling is when the Lord comes to you and said, that's it. No more. This is your last chance. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. There's some of you out here listening, going to be listening in the next two or three days that's played with God and played with God and played with God. But there's coming a time in your life, hallelujah, where he's not going to be near to you anymore. And you're going to cry out to him and he's not going to hear you. He's going to turn a death ear away. I pray, 
I pray. Oh, God, don't turn your ear on anybody that's going to listen. Hallelujah. Give them one more chance, God. Hallelujah. Give them one more chance. Don't let anybody, God, die and go to hell. But there's some that's going to reject him. There's some that's knocking on the doors. There's some, hallelujah, glory to God, but you better, better wake up for it's everlasting too late. <laughs> Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. This is a warning that God's trying to get it to the people out there. Because there's coming a time when God, you're going to cry out to God and he's not going to be there for you to find him. Don't get to that situation. Don't get like that in your life that you look, cry out to God and he's not there. And he's not there. Don't get there. Don't get to that part. <laughs> when you cry out to him and he's not there. Oh, pastor, I've got time. Let me share something with you. You could lay your head down tonight and not wake up on this earth tomorrow, but wake up in eternity. You're not guaranteed to take that last breath. Because when that last breath comes out of your body and you wake up on the other side, you can't stand before God and say, God, I didn't know that I needed a Savior. I didn't know that I needed you. Let me share something with you tonight. Church, we all need him. If you're out here listening, you'll be listening in the next two or three days if you're lost and undone and you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior. Hallelujah, I asked you to, to seek him with all your heart. If you're out here listening tonight and going to be listening the next day or two and you want to, know, to, to be saved, find you an old-fashioned altar somewhere and pray and say, God, please, I'm a sinner. Please forgive me of all of my sins. God, I know I've done wrong. Forgive me. God, come into my heart. God, take this old man, this old, nasty, sinful heart, God, and put a new heart inside of me. Cleanse me. Make me ever with whole God. Oh, hallelujah. There's somebody out here going to listen to this. You need God in your life or it's too late. You need to t get in touch with God for it's everlasting too late. Hallelujah. You, listen to me. Don't put it off. This is new Senior Pastor Sam Warner, New Fellowship Full Gospel Church. I asked you, please, don't lay your head down tonight without talking to the Father. Preacher, I don't know how you can tell you can PM me when that we get off here. I'll pray with you. Because it's time to wake up. It's time to seek the Lord while he may be found. It's time, glory to God, to seek him with all of our hearts. I don't know who this is for tonight, but you've been playing with God long enough. The playing is over. It's time to either get in or get out. That's the choice that you got to make. Not me, you. You've got to make that choice for it's too late. Folks, I don't know who's out here watching tonight. I know there's been several watching and several comments. But I asked you to share this with all of the people that you friends with on Facebook. And Crystal, I want you to put this out across the YouTube channel as soon as you can when this is over with. God, somebody needs to hear this message tonight. I can just feel the presence of God. Somebody needs to hear what God is trying to say. Somebody needs to hear that Jesus loves them.
that Jesus loves them. That Jesus loves them. You've been tucking and don't know which way to go. Come to him. Come to him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God, I thank you for this word. God, I thank you for your blessings. Oh, God, whoever this is meant for tonight, God, give them one more chance for it's everlasting too late. God, please give them one more chance. God, that they would wake up for it's everlasting too late and turn to you. Oh, God, I pray, God, let this word go out. Let the power of God overcome the airway and let this anointing go out across the airway, God. Oh, God, whoever it may be, God, touch them right now, God. God, give them peace in their heart, God. Help them, God. Oh, God, help them. Father God, it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you're here tonight listening to me, this is Senior Pastor Sam Ward of New Fellowship for Gospel Church in Mainville, Tennessee. If you're looking for a home church, please come and visit us. God is doing miraculous things here at New Fellowship. God is blessing truly. Please come and visit us. We're at on Mainville Highway, right across from Paulette School in Mainville. All you got to do is get on 30. If you're coming from Halls, get on 33 and go north towards Tazewell. When you cross the Union County line, we're on the, the school, the uh, Paulette Elementary School is on the left. We're the white church on the right. Hallelujah. Glory to God with a red roof on it. Please come and visit. If you're in Tazewell or anywhere in that area, come down the uh, Mainable Highway towards uh, uh, Knoxville. Come through Mainable. When you get down to Paulette Elementary School on your right, the church will be on the left. Glory to God. Sunday school at 10 o'clock Sunday morning. Church is at 11. God, listen, God is moving tremendously in the house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You don't want want to miss what God's got in store for you. Hallelujah. Come and be with us. Hallelujah to God. God is blessing. I can't, I can't tell you how God is truly blessing. Hallelujah. If you're looking for a home church, come and be with us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And you talk about we'll give you the love. Glory to God. As everybody talks about how the love of God is in that place. Would you come and be with us? Glory to God. And this is Senior Pastor Sam Ward until we get again Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. Remember, God loves you and we love you too. Come and be with us. Uh, hallelujah. This is Senior Pastor Sam Ward. May God bless you tonight.